Okay, so welcome once again. So as you can see, I will be talking about how do I memorize the different globin chains in a hemoglobin. So we all know that each hemoglobin is unique to um, from one another because of the different globin chains that can be found within it. So let us go straight to our discussion. So how do I memorize the different globin chains? But before we begin that, of course, there are different globin chains to start with. We have your alpha, okay? We have your alpha, your beta, your gamma, your delta, epsilon, and zeta. So these are the different globin chains that you can see within a hemoglobin. So first let us classify one from the other so we all know that your globins are being um encoded by two of your chromosomes okay by, by two of your chromosomes that is chromosome 16 and chromosome 11 okay again chromosome 16 and chromosome 11 so chromosome 16 is for actually for your alpha okay chromosome 16 number 16 is for your alpha and your zeta okay chromosome 16 and the rest here um, beta gamma delta epsilon is your chromosome 11 okay chromosome 11 and one very interesting fact is that your alpha globin contains 141 amino acids same thing with your zeta 141 amino acids and the rest of your beta gamma delta epsilon does contain 146 amino acid so 141 141 for your alpha 141 for your zeta and 146 amino acids for your beta gamma delta and epsilon so let's go straight now on how do i memorize the different hemoglobin so we all know that there are fetal hemoglobins and adult hemoglobin so let us go and start with the first three um, fetal hemoglobin that is very much common so let us enumerate them first for so we have here your goer we actually have here your goer one your goer two i also have here my portland okay my portland at the same time okay aside from portland you do also have your um, hemoglobin F, okay, your fetal hemoglobin, okay, your fetal hemoglobin, and your hemoglobin A, which is actually very much um, common when you are actually um, when you from birth, okay, and of course in adulthood, you already have the combination of your hemoglobin F, your he combination of your hemoglobin F hemoglobin A, and another hemoglobin, which is your hemoglobin A2. So, again, like what I was mentioning in kanina, I, um, one challenge is how to memorize what um, globin chains that this each of them contain. Okay? So, but before we dig into that, um, please remember that each hemoglobin, okay, each of your hemoglobin contains, okay, they contain four Okay, they contain four globin chains. Okay, four globin chains. Okay, four globin chains. And one very important thing to remember here, the four globin chains is actually two identical pairs of your globin chains. Two identical pairs. So, when I say two identical pairs, meaning to say, dalawang alpha, dalawang beta. So, that makes up one hemoglobin. Um, pwede ring dalawang... Um, gamma or dalawang dalawang zeta so that in itself would make up your hemoglobin okay so let's go to our goer 1 goer 2 portland hemoglobin f hemoglobin a and your hemoglobin a2 so the thing that i will be discussing to you would somehow sound fun sound silly Pero ganun talaga. That's how we memorize things better. So, for Goer 1, ayan. So, meron tayong kwento. Goer 1, dahil level 1 ka pa lang, everything is easy. So, the, the things that you are actually gonna see here, okay? The, the globin chains here are easy, okay? Which is your epsilon, okay? Which is your epsilon, which is your epsilon and zeta, okay? So, mean to say, 
2 epsilon, 2 zeta would make up your goer 1. Goer 1, madali ang buhay, easy, kasi level 1. Pero nung grade 2 ka, okay? Nung grade 2 ka, ikaw ay nata eh, okay? So, T, let's take the T and the 2. Okay, goer 2 is actually your alpha and your epsilon. So, nung grade 2 ka, ikaw ay nata eh sa iyong pants. So, goer 2, you have 2 alpha and 2 epsilon. 2 alpha, 2 epsilon. What about Portland? Okay, what about Portland? Sabi na natin ang Portland ay isang brand ng semento. At pag isa kang brand ng semento, ang semento ay matigas. At kung ikaw yan, matigas ka, tigasin ka sa inyong kanto, tinatawag ka nating Zega. Okay, isa kang Zega. So, ibig sabihin, that is 1Z, 2Z, and 2 gamma. Okay, isa kang Zega. Okay? So, let's just have a recap for the fetal hemoglobin first. So, we have your life is easy. Okay? 1 is easy. 1 is easy. 2, nata eh. Okay? 3, okay? For your third, for your Portland, dahil tigasin ka, ikaw ay zega. Okay? Ikaw ay zega. Ikaw ay matigas. Okay? So, 2, z 2 zeta, 2 gamma. So, for the for the fetal hemoglobin, sabi natin, for the fetal, dahil maaga pa, okay, dahil maaga pa, your fetal hemoglobin appears early, maaga, so it has maaga, which is 2 alpha and 2 gamma. Okay, so let's just try to change how it is written. We have your 2 alpha plus 2 gamma. So, for hemoglobin F, maaga, aga. For the hemoglobin A, for the hemoglobin A, nung tumanda ka na, okay, gusto mo naman magkaroon ng abs. So, para mas madaling tandaan, nung adult, adult, okay, adult hemoglobin, gusto mo magkaroon ng abs. So, that is alpha and beta. 2 alpha, 2 beta, that is your hemoglobin A. Okay? Hemoglobin A. Gusto mo magkaroon ng abs. Pero teka, teka. Meron pang hemoglobin A2. Paano natin makukuha ang A2? 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Anong ginawa mo para makuha si 2? Ikaw ay nag-add. So that is alpha plus delta. So 2 alpha, 2 delta. You added 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Hemoglobin A2. So that's how I memorize it. So let's have a recap. So for hemoglobin F, Hemoglobin F, maaga. So, alpha, gamma. For hemoglobin A, gusto mo magkaroon ng abs kasi adult ka na. So, alpha and beta. Pero, wait lang, wait lang. Meron ka pang al um, hemoglobin A2. Paano natin makukuha yung 2? 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Anong ginawa mo? Nag-add ka. So, alpha and delta. So, please remember that this actually... Um, is two pairs. Two pairs of alpha, two pairs of gamma. Two pairs of alpha, two pairs of beta. Two pairs of alpha, two pairs of delta. delta. And the same thing goes with your goer 1, goer 2, and your Portland. So I hope that helps you memorize your hemoglobin, globi your hemoglobin globin chains better. So I hope to see you on my next video. So that's it for today. So that's it for today. So what? Thank you so much.